Uh, yeah, it was amazing, man. Just uh, being able to go out there with my teammates, uh, get the dub, you know, and win it in Raven fashion, man. So, hey, I'm very excited, uh, happy to keep going, and going to enjoy this for the rest of the day. And then we're going to flush it and move on to uh, Cleveland. How many teams do you think can win a game in December without their top two quarterbacks? Pardon? How many teams do you think can win in December when they don't have their top two quarterbacks? Uh, honestly, I'm not really too worried about that, but I know this team can, and we showed that we could. So, hey, that's all that matters, and I'm a part of this team. So how did this rivalry compare to the other ones in you in Chicago? Hey, if I'm being honest, <clears throat> excuse me, if I'm being honest, hey, it don't it don't compare because hey I got the dub I I, I was <laughs> I wasn't on that side of it too much so hey I'm just happy to be a part of the dub you know and uh, winning football. Right. Well, you have uh, some familiarity with with uh, Mitch back in your day in Chicago. Anything you pick, picked up on before that interception? Um, you know I got a lot of respect a lot of respect for the guy and uh, you know he made a he made a throw and, and he had to pay for it so he did and hey you know. Great play by the uh, great great rush by the defense, and uh, I made a place. I was in the right place at the right time. Broke on uh, Calais blocks a field goal, and I guess there was 11:19 left at that point. You guys just ran the ball, ran almost eight minutes off the clock. What's the vibe like on the sideline when you see the offense get that run game going and the clock's ticking down and all that? Oh man, I have a lot of respect for those guys on the offensive side of the ball. The O line, very physical group, running backs, welcoming JK back, uh, and then man, even the receivers blocking on the outside. So I got a great deal of respect, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And I, I knew, you know, once those guys get rolling, you know, it's hard to stop because I remember playing against these guys. So hey, I know what it's all about. I know you've heard this week, you're not a Raven until you beat the Steelers. So I'll decide over and over and over again. So do you feel like a Raven now after that? One? Hey, yeah, absolutely, man. And there's no other way I'd rather have it. You know, fought a lot of adversity throughout the game. But, you know, that's what makes uh, everyone special and how you respond um, once you face it. And we faced it. And, hey, no other way than winning that. And it was Raven fashion. So I'm just happy to be here. Ravon, I think, you know, there was an early nice run by them. But they finished with just 65 yards on the ground. You guys have been totally shut down run defense wise. What's making you guys just so good right now? I think just playing together, man, and the man D line, man. We've got a lot of horses up front, man. Those guys, you know, striking blockers, uh, keeping the backers clean, and also they tearing off and making plays in their gaps. And uh, we have some great support, too, from the uh, corners in the sec secondary, everyone in the secondary. So I just think it's a good combination of everyone playing good physical football. And hey, and we're only going to keep getting better. Thanks, Rob.